Hey friends, it's Pastor Jeffrey. I wanted to do another uh, video this time on Tithely. Tithely is the um, program, outfit, company uh, that our church uses for giving online. Uh, there are many churches that don't have this option. The other church I serve in Delaware doesn't have this option, but the No Water Church I serve, uh, we decided to set this up uh, in hopes that there might be some people who find this more uh, accessible a means to give to the church. Now before I, I go showing how this works, I, uh, I have to be clear, I think there are some better ways to give to the church. Um, my wife and I give through our uh, bank. Our bank just writes a check on our behalf once a month to each of the churches we serve. Um, and that makes it so we don't have to think about it and there is no slice of the pie taken. Um, another good way is to just send in a monthly check if you have that discipline to sit down and write your bills. Um, I always have to remind people if you give in cash, it's always good to put it in an envelope and to make sure the church knows where it came from. Um, one, so that you can get the tax reporting from us, but two, so that we can know um, who the supporters in the church are. But for some people, uh, they're not super organized in this way. They don't do monthly sit down, write out. They don't have a relationship with their bank where they know how to do this. Um, and for them, Tithely really is the best thing. So um, different ways to set this up. Um, one is if you just go to our live stream, I have it pulled up here on our Facebook page. Um, whether you view us on Facebook or YouTube, it's in the show notes, I think they're called. We're going to have a link there to give. So if you just click on that link, it will take you directly to a Tithely page where it's already to the First United Methodist Church of Nowata, Nowata, Oklahoma, and you can decide how much money you want to give. And it's literally that easy. So you can write your $100,000 check right there to our general fund. There aren't any other funds for you to give it to. Um, if you do have a designated way that you'd like it spent, you can just call into the church office or write an email. Um, and look at this, you can set up recurring giving right there. You can give a hundred grand a month um, and that would be great. <laughs> but most people are not. You can give on a weekly basis, on a certain day of the week. Uh, you can give on a, every two weeks, every month, first and 15th monthly. Look at how versatile this is. Now, um, we could go through the process and enter in names and start a fake account. Um, there are some people who do that. Um, the thing that Tithely does that, that these other options I've talked about don't do is you can pay from your credit card. I always get a little uh, wary about that because I realize a lot of people don't have good spending habits with their credit cards. But even so, it's a, it's a valid option. If that's primarily how you do your monthly finances, then please be responsible about this. I would also note that as you uh, fill out your bank information, your card number, and I guess you can give directly from your bank, um, you can cover the fees, but you don't have to. Um, you can have the church cover the fees. It's, it's still worth it. And you can also hit Remember Me and set a password and a PIN. Um, so that was one option if you just click on the link. Another option is if you just start a new tab in your browser. I'm using Safari here, but you can use something else. Just type in tithely.com. You can see I've already done it. Uh, just go there, and then this is what their website looks like. And you can sign up for free. And you're not a church, so you'll click Give to Your Church here. And then this allows you to give online. Uh, I would also point out you can download if you have an Apple product or if you're on uh, Google products, they have apps that you can download and set it up there rather than uh, doing this all online. Um, so here's where you can go through a setup process. And if you've ever gone through a setup process on, on anything, uh, they're pretty, pretty similar. There are some people that are wary about putting their information online, and I'm not going to tell you it's a zero risk thing, but at this point in time, it's about as risky as doing things um, in person or through paperwork. So you, you navigate that yourself. The, the thing you're going to come to, whether or not you do tithely, 
um, is is really this basic question of does the church deserve my money? Should I really be um, going through these hoops in order to give to the church, or should it just be this thing where I I show up to worship when I feel like it and I give whatever money's in my pockets and and that's enough? Um, and I certainly don't want to give the impression that uh, unless you uh, figure out exactly 10% of everything you earn and give exactly that dollar amount that you're not going to be welcome when you enter heaven. That's that's really not the point of, of doing things like this. The The reason I, I feel confident doing a video like this, pointing people towards tithely, uh, saying you should really give to your church, whether or not my church is your church, it's because God is the owner of everything. He actually owns all of our assets, all of our resources, and he expects us to give not 10%, but 100% of what we have. 10% uh, came from a Hebrew expectation of a tithe. Tithe literally means tenth, and that's the portion of, of one's um, well-being that they're expected to give uh, to the Lord through the temple and tabernacle and the priestly uh, Levitical class. With Christians, if you've read your Bible, the expectation was 100%. If you've read Acts of the Apostles, people liquidated all their assets and gave it to the church. Um, most people don't do that nowadays, so we go back to that Hebrew notion of the, the tithe or the tenth. I, I find a better guideline is just uh, giving sacrificially. Give, give a, a certain dollar amount that main, means that you're living at a lower standard than you would otherwise. Uh, because that shows that you know that your faith is worth sacrificing something for and that your Lord is, is worth sacrificing for. The church is Christ's body on earth, but also you can give to the poor directly and that counts as well. Uh, oftentimes the people I hear uh, pushing back against giving to the church also don't give to the poor. They're just stingy with money and that's a hard issue. Jesus warned that the only uh, competing God the only competing god he named by name that is is at war for our hearts with the Lord is Mammon, the god of of stuff, of wealth, and so uh, giving of our wealth to God regularly is a way of conducting spiritual forces against powers of darkness that seek to claim us. So I don't use tithely. I do have a tithely account. I have given money to the church through that, uh, but because I like every single penny going to the church, I'm, I'm generally always going to write a check or have my bank write a check. Uh, but for those of you who, um, you know, really my hope is that there are a number of you who've never regularly given to the church and that you go to Tithely and you, you set up an account. Um, my hope is that, that many of you who have been irregular givers would, would say, hey, give this, this amount regularly. My hope is that those of you who have never budgeted uh, to giving to God and his mission on earth, that you would take joy in doing this. Um, of course, this is all happening under the umbrella of uh, coronavirus times, where a lot of people can't be with us in person. Um, that doesn't mean that you don't have to support God's mission anymore if you can't go in person. One, you're, you're always welcome in person at any church that I serve. But two, if, even if you don't feel good about being here, there are ways to give remotely. And so um, whether or not um, I'm watching and I know, the Lord knows um, the abundance of your heart and your treasure. And so take advantage of tithely and any other resources at your disposal to give gladly to the Lord. And then if there is a way that I can help you to do that gladly, then let me know. But uh, at this point, my job as pastor is just to give the truth. I can't make you do it. But I sure hope you do, because I love serving a church where money is not an issue. We're responsible with our money. We're transparent with our money. And if you ever want to see what we do with the money you entrust to the church, we have all those reports for you to see. I think you'll be impressed. But uh, if you're not a money person, then uh, just know that you have some capable people at the helm. It's not just me. It's the whole church board that's looking at these things regularly. So uh, anyway, I love doing the work of the church, and I love having a church where we do have happy and joyful givers, and I hope that you're one of them. God bless you. I'm going to draw this time to a close. Bye.